Hiya pals and welcome to see you next Tuesday. Do 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 do. do. This week's topic is interviewing. Um, you may remember that I was interviewed by Melissa yesterday. Yes. On Miss TV's Mondays. So I am returning the favor and interviewing her here. Woo. Um, from my new laptop and it's kind of working. It's kind of awkward. I feel like I'm at a really weird angle, but that's okay. So Melissa. Sarah. I would like you to tell all our viewers about the excitement we had this evening at the uh, club we went to. Sarah and I ventured out on our own. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. <laughs> you and I. And, I mean, I don't know about you, but the first surprise was there was a line and we got there before 10 so we could get in for free. Yeah, there's a lot of people. It went really fast though. We were saving our dollars. And uh, yeah, it was packed. There were tons and tons of people there. So many people. We thought we were just gonna sit at a table by ourselves so people got there to dance. <laughs> and it was packed. So then we went up to get drinks so we had to wait forever. Forever. <laughs> Finally get up there and this, drunk guy comes up and shoves his way and starts dancing. Um, well, I got shoved by a guy. <laughs> and then his friend that. made him apologize and made his other friend not cut because he tried to squeeze in. Yeah, and just, then he was the dancer. He was dancing there. Mm -hmm. um, and then we went over to dance and who appears but... <laughs> Melissa's new boyfriend. The crazy dancer boy and his friend. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah. Who kind of talked to me. Like, he kind of talked to me. But talked to Sarah a lot. But Melissa's boyfriend was really chitty chatty, chitty chatty, chitty chatty. Yes, he was, he was very nice. And mm -hmm. Dan. Dan. He, uh, how old did he think we were? <laughs> he thought you were 23. <laughs> he he, he wanted to know how old we were, and then Sarah did a very good job and said, how old are you first? I was like, how old do you think we are? And he was like, I think you're 23, and I think you're 24. And I was like, yeah. Maybe we were a few years ago. And then I was like, how old are you? I was like, you're right. You're so smart. I was like, how old are you? And he's like, I'm older. I'm 26. <laughs> and his friend's like, well, I'm 28. And I wanted, I so wanted to be like, I'm really 30. <laughs> so it happened with this boy. Um, I mean, we were there for a while and he was there the entire time. <laughs> Pretty much. Just bopping around 90% and he was quite friendly and he wanted to take us go-kart racing Sarah really wanted to go I did really want and to I go and I told her that she can take his phone number because I have it and <laughs> she can call him and go go-kart racing I think I just love <laughs> how uncomfortable <laughs> Melissa was <laughs> I mean like you weren't like super uncomfortable because I kept doing the, the are you okay are you having fun <laughs> <laughs> Are we good? Do we need to, like, run away? Because I would have run away if you didn't want to hang out with him anymore. But it was so amusing. To it was see Sarah's him. amusement for the year. It, was, it made me so happy to see him be like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then he had all these straws, and he's like, here, drink and my he drink. And he kept trying to share his drink with everyone. Everyone. With anyone. Anyone. Any person passing by. So, yeah, it was a very amusing night, for sure. For sure. It was very good. Um, I think Melissa should text him. And yeah. if he gets creepy, just delete him. And, I mean, Sarah is so good at this. Like, she's like, you give him a fake number. Or, totally. you know, I was just trying to be honest. I she's was like, like, wait, okay. I don't know if I want to give you my number. So, basically, he asked you for your number. And you said. At least probably, like, five times. Mm -hmm. 
And I said, I don't know. And you were like, I was why trying don't to you be honest? And then I finally came up with a really good solution, which is why don't you give me your number? Mm-hmm. And then he wanted to know if I was going to call him. And, you know, I said, I would think about it, which is all She's all truth. artist. True. Which is very sweet of you, but you just lie because he was wasted. He yeah. Was and drunk. he kept asking me the same questions. I felt like it was like he was asking me if I was on any online dating websites. He asked me multiple times if I had kids. He wanted was, to he, make sure I did not have kids. He thought you you were wanted to know I mean, everything. Work. Yes, he was very complimentary, which was nice. He was a very nice guy. Yeah, he was very nice. He guy. was he was fun for there. His friend did leave, and then it was just the we two just, of them. We thought the friend was cute for Sarah, we but did. we decided that he has a probably girlfriend. he has a girlfriend because obviously otherwise he would be all over Sarah. So I'll yeah, be into this. Um, but yeah, there were actually a lot of boys at Jones. Yeah, he, I mean, okay. we had other guys too, so the old ones. There was a guy who asked me to dance in line. He was friends with oh, them. And I totally missed that. And he, um, oh, I didn't tell you that? No. Oh, the, he asked me to dance. The guy who made the guy who pushed me apologize. Uh, yeah. How did I miss that? And he, he said, well, are you going to be dancing? And I was like, yeah, that's why I'm here. And he's like, <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to come find you later and I'll dance with you. I wonder if that was him. And he put on a different shirt because he was wearing a different shirt. Maybe, might have been. I don't know. I didn't it wasn't. Name. It was. It was a different the, guy. The brown hair guy you were talking to second time was a different guy than the one you were talking to in line. I thought so. I figured. But I was like, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> so they, two. they all kind of look like preppy 22 year olds, so. Uh, they did not look that young. They looked like children. It's not true. Um, and then there was that random guy that high fived me. There were a lot of high fives in this club. It was and fist all bumps, over fist the bumps. place, over and over and over, over again. again. The guy I want to know really is what would you do? So if Hold someone up. wants your phone number but you're not sure that you want to give it to them, what do you do? And comment below. Yep. Because Sarah gives out fake numbers. I actually, I, and I thought my idea was really good to take the phone number because then if I wanted to call him, I could. Right. I don't remember the last time a guy I I really legitimately knew. asked me for, I remember when um, one of my exes asked for my number and I didn't know it. I didn't know my own number. It's going to be hard to get dates when you don't know your own phone number. No, was... Then they really got to find you. Yeah, it was before Facebook, so. They really have to seek you out. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what do you do? Do you give? I think giving out a fake number is just fine. I think if I would have given a fake number, he would have tried to text me while I was there, and it wouldn't work. Thank you, Melissa, for being my interviewee. Thank you, Sarah, for going out with me. I mean, Sarah was just like hit in the town, hardcore. It was. We just got the droves. The droves. Oh. The droves of gentlemen. There was this little tiny old dude. He was like, he was dropping it like it was hot. He was getting down. Literally. It was really creepy. And then he caught this half naked girl. I guess she was well. That was funny. Anyway, thanks for joining me here on CNX Tuesday. Stay tuned for midweek meltdown. With our friend Warren. And I will see you next Tuesday. Have a great week. Yes. Oh. Oh, it's broken. What? Are it's, we taking I'm, pictures too? Is it even videotaping? It, there's this number over here. Okay. And it says stop. Awful. Oh, you could just click. Oh. So I can make my videos on this and just smile. That's a crazy smile. And just have it. Okay. Um, I feel like okay, we have to edit a lot of that. I'm really tired. It's really late. It's almost 2 in the morning. Mm-hmm. But, um. Oh, that's cute.